Hello Virgos and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl the moon goddess. Alright, so today we're going to jump into a quick reading for you. If you hear any noises in the background, please pardon the noises in the background. I am speaking up a bit, so I hope this is helpful. Alright, I do have my manifestation candle burning. Okay, so I did do a video on how I made these manifestation candles. If you're interested in learning how to make them for yourself, I will link that in the description box below. All right, Virgos, let's see what's going on with you. I know I cut weird. Don't mind my cuts. All right. All right, right now we have the tower. Okay, so there can be a moment that's happening right now that's maybe shaking your foundation, some things that may be, you know, causing some frustrations here, some things may be coming to light, some things may be, you know, trying to throw you off balance here, trying to throw you off course here, all right, uh, let's see. I do feel like you're trusting your intuition though when it's coming down to this situation, I feel like you're also being, you know, very patient when it comes down to the situation as well. Maybe resting in your power, trying to see things from a spiritual side, whatever this attack is or whatever this situation with this tower is happening here. I do feel you, you know, just paying attention to spirit here, listening to that inner voice, okay? Listening to, you know, the messages that you're getting here. Maybe looking at the duality of things as well. Maybe trying to look at the glass half full as opposed to half empty. All right. And also seeking some advice here. I can also I see you also seeking some advice when it comes down to this situation as well. Okay. I'm very much so stuck on this high priestess card right now. So I feel like this is you and your energy just being very much so spiritual when it comes down to this. Okay. Because this is, you know, you're realizing that whatever this is, whatever this situation is, it's a cycle that you know is coming to an end with the world card. Okay? So it's something that you know is necessary for something to happen. For something to close. Okay? This can be some closure that you're looking for when it comes down to a situation. But I do see you being... Um, a little bit rocked by this situation that's happening only because when things are ending new things are happening so it's like that shift this is what i'm saying the duality of it i feel like you're looking at the duality of it you're looking at something coming to an end or something very abruptly ha happening for something else to come through with this world card here i definitely see you being um hopeful as well for whatever this new journey is whatever this new chapter is that's going to be happening for you all right so that's good energy for you virgo let's see ace of cups okay so this could be in regards to relationship or passion or something here but i do see something is going to um cause you to maybe have some stable emotions this is what i'm saying something was trying to throw your emotions off balance here but i feel like once this situation is over i feel like you're gonna be able to emotionally be so fulfilled okay i feel like there's there could be a new offer here of love a, a new connection or a new relationship here with this ace of cups all right with this ace of cups energy but I feel like you're definitely being hopeful here. You're definitely paying attention to what God and the universe are giving you in regards to your emotions, okay? How they're helping you deal with this situation emotionally. Page of Pentacles, yep. So I do see you, you know, like I said, something new starting. So this whole tower situation had to happen in order for something to grow, okay? This can also be something that you're giving yourself or something that can be growing from within you. Okay, you can also be getting intuitive messages to move forward and to start something different. All right, so everything happens for a reason, but I definitely feel like the reason that this situation has happened for you is for you to get a brand new perspective on how to go about life or how to create something new for yourself. Okay, 
this could also be some different messages that you're receiving as well okay and you just being focused on those messages or you being focused on creating something for yourself from scratch maybe building something over especially with this tower moment okay the tower is in regards to a shaky foundation some things not being built on solid foundation so ultimately everything that you spent time building coming crashing down all right but like I said, I do see you being very positive and very hopeful about it because you know that you can start over. You know that you can start again. So this is where this Page of Pentacles is coming in because this is your energy. Being hopeful on starting something over again, okay? Being very positive, being upbeat, trusting the intuition and also trusting the process. Knowing that just because this thing crashed down, it doesn't mean that it's the end of everything, okay? It's the end of that cycle, but the beginning of something new. Something that you're going to definitely take more time into growing and nurturing. And something that you're going to, you know, make sure is a lot more solid for yourself, okay? For yourself and for the longevity. I feel like this is something that you're going to be building to create longevity, not just for you, but for your family or for other people around you, okay? This can be a new business. This can be a new job. This can just be a new idea. This can be someone coming in that's brand new, okay? So you're just taking some time to make sure that this person or whatever it is that you're starting over for yourself, you're taking the time to make sure that it's, it's well-rounded, okay? You see how like he's holding that pentacle? It's like making sure he cups it and holds it. You know, he's making sure that it's very well rounded, okay? And paying attention to the details here. I feel like you're also going to be paying attention to a lot of details when it comes down to whatever the situation is because you're looking at things from a spiritual side along with a physical side, okay? Seven of Cups, yep. Different options here. Trying to figure out the best option for yourself. But also, like I said, because you're in such a spiritual mindset, I feel like, you know, like I said, looking at things from a spiritual and also from a physical, all right? So I feel like there's some things here that you're, you know, that could be manifested, okay? Some things that you're looking to manifest. But I also feel like take it one thing at a time, okay? Take it as one step at a time when it comes down to this situation, okay? Take it one step at a time. But I do see you taking your time with this, though. But I do see that there's also multiple things that you're also looking to call in for yourself after this tower moment. I feel like you're also going to, you know, realize for some of you, you're going to realize the time and energy that you spent working and building up this tower just to have it crashing down. So I feel like you're going to also want to, like, jump your, you know, put your eggs into different baskets. But, you know, it's easier... You know, do what it is that you feel like you want to do for you, but it is easier when you tackle things one by one, okay? And also being very realistic when it comes down to the things that you're manifesting and the things that you're calling in for yourself. There's nothing wrong with thinking big, and there's nothing wrong with thinking multiple, but, you know, do it in moderation so that you're not over-exhausting yourself, okay? Let's see. Let's pull an oracle card for you, Virgo, to get a final message. Okay, intuition. See, this is what I'm saying. I feel like you're in a very spiritual energy right now, Virgo. I feel like you're definitely paying attention to the signs. You're definitely paying attention you could be having dreams here this can also be an indication with the seven of cups here you can definitely be having a lot of dreams and a lot of visions as well in regards to whatever it is that you're calling in for yourself but i do see you being very much so in the spiritual energy okay all right so your guidance for the goddess of intuition is you already know take a deep breath and surrender to what you know to be true trust your inner wisdom and guidance okay it says what is your guidance telling you put your hands over your third eye and ask if i knew what the answer is what would it be then follow your first instinct the creator and your ancestors connect with you through your intuition trust your internal gps the nudges signs and coincidences are divine guidance 
slow down, which is what I'm saying, you know, take things one by one. <laughs> slow down, go for a walking meditation, be present with nature and pay attention. Okay, this is what I was saying as well, paying attention to the details, okay? Being present allows you to feel, hear, see, and sense your guidance. Okay, Virgo, so that was your reading, all right? So I hope that was helpful for you and your situation. If it was, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.